Hello everybody, uh, this video is a, it's a short video to help you with the AutoCAD transparency. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna draw two rectangles. Let's start with the first one. Let's do a copy. Side, okay. So what is the purpose here is to place two hatches inside, two solid hatches inside of these rectangles and we can change the transparency um, and see how this how this works in AutoCAD. So let's let's add a hatch now. So let's choose a solid hatch first. Uh, let's select this one and then let's do the same for the other one, the rectangle, put the solid hatch in this one as well. Okay, now we have two hatches, two rectangles and two hats inside. Um, so let's change the colors first. Let's put a red for this one, and then uh, let's choose blue, red and blue. So now what we have uh, two rectangles and two hatches. They, they are solid hats. Okay, what are we gonna do now? It's uh, we're gonna put some transparency in the blue one so that way we can see uh, what we have in the background okay uh, so to do that we can select we can select that the hatch the blue hatch yes and now we have the properties for that hatch yeah on the left uh, in the case you don't you can't see this you can let's say you don't don't have this open in your, your AutoCAD uh, what you can do is type uh, MO so now you can see the properties option you click and now you be able to see it uh, you can you might see it in any position on your screen so you can just click and drag to the left so yeah so you have it as I am seeing now okay um, let's now change the transparency so if you click on the hatch the blue hatch you see that you see an option uh, property transparency which is now is by layer you can change the value here or also you could change on here as well yeah so yeah sorry yeah, you can change the transparency on here as well um, so this number is is in it's percent, so it's between zero to ninety percent. So if you put ninth, you can see now the the transparency. So ninety percent of transparency. Uh, but if you try to put more, you can't because otherwise it would be the same color as the background. Yeah. So you couldn't see uh, the this, the hatch at all more than 9%. So that's why it's between 0 to 9 and then let's let's make it um, 50%. So you can you can move it yeah or you can just type the value you want in here or that there as well yeah from the properties the object properties. So now uh, we have 50% transparency in the blue hatch yeah. It's quite hard to see now in the, in the the model. Okay, let's print it out to see how this looks like on paper. If we re really can see the, the transparency on the blue hatch, so let's click and plot on top. Yeah, um, you can choose the printer you want. Um, I'll just uh, set DWG to PDF. It's fine. Uh, the size I will put a4 size paper size uh, okay it doesn't matter it's just uh, uh, we, we want to just see how it, it's gonna look like on paper how is uh, if you can see really the transparency on the blue the blue hatch uh, and the window so with the window you can select only the area you want to print out from your model um, let's apply it to layout so 
it saved now and you can preview what happened um, we can see the transparency yes that's because we need to check that box here plot transparency yeah that's that option is not check it uh, you're not be able to, to print out the transparency yeah. okay so now let's apply to layout and preview again so now you can see the, the transparency in the blue hatch is set to 50% um, okay it works so now let's have a look at another thing important as well which is um, uh, let's say we have we need a circle in the middle of this, uh, these rectangles okay and we have as well a circle in here. So um, at the minute we can see both circles, yeah. And if you try to print it out again, let's preview. Yeah, it's still be we still be able to see that the circles inside of the rectangles, even with the 50% transparency in the hatch, and this is a solid hat 100%. Uh, but now um, if you want to bring the hatch, this hatch, to the front, if you change the draw order and bring to front and do the same for this one. Okay. So now what happened? Um, we, we can see, we still can see the circle inside the hatch, the blue hatch, because now we have 50% of transparency. So you can maybe change to 7%. Okay. Um, but you still can see, yeah, because it's, there's a transparency applied to this edge. But in that one, we can't see the, the circle anymore because there is no transparency, it's a solid hatch, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if you try to, to print again, uh, you see that, yeah. So, you can see the circle now with 70% transparency in the blue hatch, but in the red one, you can't see. But if you still want to see the circle, in the in the red red hatch if you want to see is to see the circle is behind yeah uh, and you don't want to change the transparency for this hatch you can just change the draw order send it to back so you can see now the circles and you can also uh, when print out you can see the circle yes in inside the hatch uh, no problem at all so now what the thing worth to mention is that uh, we could also uh, apply transparency, transparency to any kind of object, not only hatches, yes, as we saw previously. So we could, you could put trans transparency to these blocks, to this, uh, sorry, to rectangle and this circle as well. So uh, after draw a rectangle, it's the same way. You just select the object, and now we have. Uh, transparency uh, option uh, property for that for that uh, rectangle so if you change this value let's say to a uh, 50% again so now you can see um, the rectangle it's it's with transparency uh, as well and the same with for this circle uh, we got the same option uh, so you can just change the transparency let's say 90% so yeah it's almost invisible now uh, so you could you could apply the transparency for each object on your drawing um, but just remember when come to print it out uh, you need to change the uh, you need to sorry you need to check this this option plot transparency otherwise you would not see it um, in your paper um, and last but not least also we could do uh, let's imagine you have um, a set of objects in your design that should have, um, uh, don't know, 40% 40, 40 of transparency. Um, what you could do, you could create a layer. Now we create a layer called transparency. Yes, so you could create a layer um, and you can set the transparency uh, in the layer uh, itself so now we have 80% uh, transparency for that layer so um, each object uh, that I assigned with that layer 
we have 8% of uh, transparency. Let's try it again. So, so if you select the objects and change the layer to transparency now, you can see all these objects uh, has uh, the transparency which is has been set up for this layer. Yeah. So now if you change the the transparency for that layer, let's say 30%. So all the blocks, all the objects or blocks, yeah, uh, inside of that layer will uh, will change the transparency to suit the layer. So that's another way you can um, you can have a uh, plenty plenty of uh, layers with different transparency, and you can or organize your your layout. Yes. Thanks for watching my video, and hopefully this is helpful for you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up, and see you later.